Good morning from Turkey. I need to run because everyone else is at breakfast and I'm running late. It's so pretty here. Um, that being said, I haven't even looked outside yet. The balconies of these rooms are actually huge. Like it literally goes all the way around. Whoa. I joined Sun last night, she was having some drinks, but I was so tired from my flight and everything. Um, ended up staying with Sun until three in the morning, so I'm just tired. Um, it's like 9.45 and apparently breakfast here ends at 10. My parents have been calling me, so I need to dash. This is my OOTD. Come show yours. Oh, hi, pretty girl. Hello. I'm trying to find somewhere that I want to sunbathe. I think Sophie and I should go on the banana boat. Yeah, let's do some water sports today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You don't want us to go? No. <laughs> There's like sharks in Turkey, isn't there? No, she said she doesn't want to go. Nothing. This weather reminds me of Monaco. I think wherever there's clouds, there's mountains. Hello. <laughs> I swear, all I've done for the past few hours is sunbathe and it's been like two hours and I had breakfast two hours ago and my dad is like, let's go for lunch. I physically cannot. I'm stuffed and also like sunned out a bit. Even though it's been cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny. Um, yeah, I'm just being a lazy little fish. Lazy little Pisces. I just realized I was probably so sweaty in that clip enjoy anyone who knows me and watches my vlogs knows that these two are like my two favorite drinks in the world my literal trip tonight <laughs> For anyone wondering what this is, it's spicy turnip juice. So good. The hotel has a photographer who was just chatting to us and he was like, guys, go inside because it is going to rain heavy for the next two hours. So we were sunbathing and um, fortunately the weather's been really good today. I feel like I've caught a bit of a tan um, and I literally fell asleep in the sun, like passed out. So hopefully I've caught some colour, we'll see. Um, and I'm going to go back to the room, shower, just get changed, get ready. Everything seems to happen earlier in this resort, like I think my sister said dinner is served so early, so yeah, I'm going to prepare for a chilled one. We do the unflattering angles. Okay, I'm dressed for dinner. Even though it's like 5 p.m., what is going on? Guys, this hotel is lit because it actually has a Starbucks. And the Starbucks is part of the all-inclusive. Look. Hi. You look cute in your matching set. So we're just gonna go have dinner now. Sign's taking a selfie. Pretty views. Um, I was just saying something about a book that I read called Attached, which was actually recommended by Pippa. So shout out to Pippa, thanks for recommending. It was very interesting. I've only read like 80 pages on yeah, the Stephanie flight. Yeah, was telling me about it. You read 80 pages, good on yeah. you. I fell asleep on that flight. I mean, I fell asleep for like half an hour, but then I woke up and I couldn't fall asleep, so I continued reading. I have it on my phone, I download books on my phone. and I think that's so much better to download books. Yeah, it's better but for you the know environment. What I think? 
get audiobooks as well. I've got audiobooks, but I fall asleep or I zone out. The only audiobook that's worked for me so far is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. I really it's listened to that very well. This view is so pretty. Let me record it. That's so pretty. That's the Turkish tea and Turkish baklava. I physically feel sick. I can't help it. I keep thinking this way and I'm like, I'm not going to eat it. Pizza. Listen, it's got potatoes. It's so nice. That is a carb load. No, I can't. After she's had three of them. <laughs> she's four today. How many is them in a day I did? Gone. What whilst you've been here? Minimum, minimum twelve thousand. Eleven fifty to twelve. I don't know where your phone is broken because every time it's Siri is speaking. <laughs> How many I did? 11,896 a step. He was on the bed and he closed his eyes and he walked. Are you going to Shomal? Shomal is Friday. Who's buying this, Friday guys? Friday was less because it was raining. 8,300. I don't know where he's people. walking. Guys, I think he's attached some pedometer to a dog or something. Or maybe the birds, the goat in the zoo. The, the most is two months. Tuesday was the upper. 15,130. Wow. Airport. <laughs> It's very sunny today. Um, I'm gonna go get a Starbucks. As if there is a all you can drink Starbucks in this hotel. Jeez, Louise. If there was such thing as a Starbucks subscription, like Pratt House, we would write them and they know that. That's why they can't introduce them. I feel like we should make it mandatory for all hotels to have a Starbucks, guys. It's a thing. So much better for customer experience. Take my advice if you have a little Starbucks. Wow! <laughs> Pretty lady. She wanted me to check out her outfit of the day, guys. Hi, Fazango! So I'm not sure I properly explained this in the vlog. My parents were already here in Turkey um, with our relatives from Iran. It's like a midpoint to like meet um, and like have a vacation with our relatives. And then Sino and I decided to come over on the weekend after work so i flew out friday evening after work and came to join them just for the weekend to see my relatives see my parents and just have a bit of a chill time together especially because next week i'm going away to mallorca for one of my best friend's weddings so i won't be able to see my parents and um yeah it was just like a nice spontaneous trip to come and see them i actually booked it last weekend when i was in monaco um, so it's been really, really nice. And I actually had another story that I want to tell you guys, which actually made me cry of laughter. My dad booked me my taxi um, from the airport to the resort. Well, first of all, the guy was like to me, he was a young guy, he was like, do you mind if I smoke? And I was like, no, that's fine. Even though I actually hate people smoking, but I was kind of like in one of those awkward positions. So I was like, sure. So he put the window down and started um, smoking whilst going like 100 miles an hour. And then after like 10 minutes, he proceeded to FaceTime his girlfriend. And he was like right in my line of view, so I could see like his girlfriend was like the background of his phone, and then it was like the same girl on FaceTime. And I don't understand Turkish, but I understand like certain words like Ashkim, which means like my love or whatever. 
So anyway, I was just like watching YouTube vids on my phone, like in the back seat whilst he was doing this and then he hung up and I could feel like the car was swaying. So I was like, um, what's going on? And I look in his mirror and I could see he was falling asleep. So I was like, oh crap, like I need to wake this guy up because we still had like half an hour to go. So I said to him like, oh, you look sleepy. And he was like, no, I'm not tired. And um, I was like, you can pull over if you want. He was like, no, 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 I'm good. And then I could see him still like drowsy. So, and bear in mind, he didn't speak any English. So we were saying all of this in Google Translate. So then I could see again, he's like getting drowsy after like I'd asked him little questions like how far is the resort. So I was like, let me make some more conversation with him. Sorry if this lighting is awful by the way. But I was like, yeah, let me make some more conversation with him. So I um, asked him if the girl in the background of his phone was um, his girlfriend to which he said he replied back and said oh I asked if it was his wife and he said no I'm not married and then he asked me are you married or do you have a boyfriend and I said no I'm not married and then he said that's good he replied back he gave, like, and, like he was like talking into his phone and then Google was translating it and he wrote, 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 replied back and had me the phone and I literally burst out laughing he was like I'm glad you're not married because I, I'm really like into you like I like you a lot and I literally burst out laughing and as he handed me this phone I could see like his girlfriend like texting him at the top of his phone with like heart emojis and I was like oh um, I think your girlfriend slash the, the girl on FaceTime slash the girl in the background of your phone would be very upset if she heard you say that and then he took the phone reply back to me and said I think you've got this all wrong the girl in the background of my phone sorry how awful of a lie is this the girl in the background of my phone is someone is a friend a very close friend of mine who died that's why I made her my phone screensaver I do not have a girlfriend this man was fucking joking right she was literally on FaceTime to him as well and I could see it like I don't know what planet he was on but it was such a bait bad lie that I just didn't even like have anything to respond to that and then I just replied to him and I was like sorry I've got a boyfriend anyway but thanks for your interest um and then we reached the resort thank god that was good timing um and then my dad just told me that he's booked the same guy to drive us back to the airport amazing uh that was a joke though so random so bizarre okay i'm gonna take off my dress and go back to sunday thing sign has gone red as a lobster <laughs> clearly not a fan of those churros the lobster i didn't realize it had caramel between it i thought it was just empty so, uh, <laughs> this, uh, just so I have to stop. I'm going to like South France to eat inside. Just stop. Look at this. I fell asleep on my last day in the sun and I look like a bloody lobster. It will go down in a week. Oh. Yeah. I hope the chicken will be here. Outfit of the night. Me and my dad are going down for our last dinner. Well, it's my last dinner. My mum and dad are staying here for another week. And yeah, he's coming with me. We're just going down for our last dinner. Outfit of the night. Um, it's been so nice to like have some relaxing time on the weekend. I actually relaxed so much this weekend and I'm so tanned. I'm shocked that I've got such a tan in two days of Antalya versus, we're not even in Antalya, where are we? Khmer. Yes. I've yeah, been, I Antalya. realized today that we're not even in Antalya, we're in Khmer. Um, but anyway, I've caught more of a tan in two days here versus a week in Dubai, which is interesting. Don't you think that's interesting? I think <laughs> it's because I can lay out for longer in Dubai after like an hour and Maybe a half. Maybe because you're the, done. the way it was hot, you yeah, couldn't lay out. Exactly. Whereas here, like I laid out the whole day today and the whole of yesterday, so I feel very golden girl. Just put some Palmer's cocoa butter. Not forgotten my SPF all day today. Sina went a little bit lobster. What was that about, huh? Yeah. She was red as a red as a cherry. Um, but my dad goes red before he tans. Did you put SPF on though? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my last dinner. Oh, it's so hot. Can 
Hanafe is a Christian Hello. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sunburnt, but look, it's exactly where my glasses are not covering. <laughs> but did you not cream? Hanafe, guys. I did, I put SPF 50 on. So did I. My skin's so sensitive, though. Dino and I are flying back in about 20 minutes. We're <laughs> leaving. She would walk through passport control and they fully told Sina that there is a shisha place on the other side. Do you want to go there? And then she's like, oh, Sina, that smells so nice. What is it? Oh, my noise cancelling has just come on by itself. That was bizarre. Long story short, Sina just believed me. Listen. She thought there's a shisha place in Antalya Airport, inside the airport. The chai cup looked like a shisha, you have to show yeah. it. <laughs> She's saying that that it does. does it not look like a shisha. It does. Shisha! <laughs> <laughs> Our flight leaves in two hours. Um, we got here like pretty, actually it leaves in an hour and a half. We got here quite early because we don't actually have any bags to check in because we've literally come for the weekend. Um, I mean, I was literally... I didn't even use the stuff that... I literally didn't even use the stuff that I had got. Like, I must have used... I bought a few extra outfits, but I knew I was going to be so bad. I'm just opening my hair so it could dry a bit. But um, I thought I'd just bring a few extra outfits just in case like I don't like one I'm not feeling to wear it. But no. I think my bag, my bag was enough for. I definitely, I don't even think I like overpacked. I think I packed pretty perfect. I had two extra dresses, um, but that was just because I wanted choice because sometimes like I'll be in the mood for something less dressy when I'm packing and then when I'm at the location, I'll be like, oh damn it, I wish I bought something more dressy um, and vice versa. So yeah, I think I packed very well to be honest I like literally just packed two swimwear wore both of them two cover-ups one of them and borrowed one from my mum um anyway I'm gonna edit my Monte Carlo vlog and sign your phone is connected to my airpods you'll switch off your bluetooth <laughs> sorry yeah <laughs> guys it's so funny anyways I'm gonna edit my Monaco, Monaco vlog and then I'll probably tomorrow the day after edit this vlog as well so I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.